Hey everybody. So I'm making this video to kind of show everybody what exactly I have in my collection. You know, give a little background history on some of the lights I have. You know, it's a little bit overdue, I'd say, because I've been doing this for 15 years. I've never really taken a full inventory video of my collection. So let's let's start off on the left. This is a Co 3 XL triple threat that I tossed three stingers in. No good place to put this. This is just hiding out here until I can find somewhere better to put it. Pile of domes, parts, beacons, etc. Speakers, boxes of parts, because, you know, who doesn't have those? And on to the good stuff. We got a Tomar Scorpion light bar here. It's all blue. I don't really like, uh, you know, LED stuff. It's not really my thing, but, you know, it was cheap and it was available. And it's got some cool features on it. I really like Tomar products. They, they made the only really good strobe light bar, in my opinion. And more on that later. So, moving on over here to six foot long Vantage Firemaster light bars. Seven rotators each. And they're similarly to this. Kind of impossible to really show anywhere <laughs> at the given time. So, you know... They're hiding out here. They both work. I think they're really cool. I love the Advantage platform. Also, more on that later. Moving on over here, we have uh, we only eight thousand. I don't know if I'm going to restore it or part it out, but it's got some cool parts in it. We've got those little ineffective takedowns. It's got alleys and mirrors and whatnot. Well, I'll see what I'm going to do with that. Behind that, next to that are regular size Advantage bars. I'm a big fan of the Advantage platform. They did not, not make good light bars, you know, as rotators, but you could do so much, of, you know, with them. You know, you could put strobes, halogen, flashers, rotators, etc. Kind of do whatever you wanted, and Willem would put it in there. You know, it was a really versatile platform. And, you know, I think that's really cool old technology. So moving on from that, we got a edge duplex there are a couple legend bars hiding back there i don't think you can see them but you know that's cool and we got this 12f twin sonic red and blue entirely big favorite of mine the flying brick light bars that's probably one of the most effective ones you could get you know with the flashers and mirrors and the rotators it really made a good warning combo so right in front here these are not jet streams. These are actually Tomar 925 light bars. And I mentioned earlier that Tomar made a really good strobe light bar. And these are the first version of them. They used a jet stream platform that they modified with their own uh, strobe heads and strobe power supplies. And really, they're just really great light bars. And I think they're underappreciated. I think they're kind of expensive for municipalities so they were usually passed over for one of the big three companies code three federal signal and wheeling but they're, they're really cool in my opinion and you can really put a lot of options into them and behind that got a bunch of excess 8000 light bars they're also known as the intensity light bars from code three they're they're really cool like they're terrible build quality uh, you know, the domes are always broken. The power supplies never work. But you, you can really put a lot of cool features into them, too. So, you know, I, I keep buying them in an effort to make one good functional excess light bar. And that's probably a pipe dream, but time will tell. On from that, a bunch of LPs. Not interesting. And generally parts, things I'm going to sell in the future, etc. Behind that... Yeah, you can't really see, but this is a fully DTEC uh, Co3 MX7000. It's it's a very, very interesting light bar. I hate DTEC rotators, but they, they all look like this. This is another DTEC rotator. Uh, the multicolored red and blue rotators. They always flash too fast and they don't flash very brightly, but they're, they're cool technology. It was the first attempt at like a multicolored light, I believe, in lighting history in front lp with stingrays 
not quite done with that yet, but it's getting there. There's a video of that up. And speaking of the DTEX, you know, this is an Excalibur. It's got strobes, LEDs, rotators, etc. That DTEC in the center. Um, just kind of putting as much different technology into that light bar as I can. Because I think that'll look really cool once it's finished. Behind that, you got a power arc light bar on the star platform. They did a really good job uh, making, you know, those oscillating heads really pop in that platform. Over here, my corner of street hawks, which is actually one street hawk and three fire hawks. You got the arctic hawk right here, which is a white base with all blue. And then you got, got a two red base fire hawks behind it with different options. I really like the street hawk platform. It's very... The best halogen rotators really made, with a few exceptions, but they really put out a good light. In the corner, well and value bars. You know, they, those are underrated bars, in my opinion. They, they had good rotators, and you could really kind of do anything with them. But they weren't very popular. They look weird. They're very cheap. Um, got an edge up front here. Back here. This candy cane right here is the first light bar I ever bought. Aerodynamic EAH, fantastic light bar. We got, you know, some part jet sonics. They all work, but you know, whatever. Not not great light bars in my opinion. They didn't throw any light. And jet strobe, okay light bar, but nothing compared to this. Those Tomar bars blow this thing out of the water any day. NYC EMS Advantage, rare and wonderful. I built this out of entirely wheeling parts. Um, another advantage, again, I love the platform. So it was really cool to kind of load it up as fully as I can. Uh, we have another Aerodynic. This is a, just a 24R, uh, the twin sonic style rotators and mirrors. Flush mount edge. Uh, bunch of XLs over here. It's back here, like California style. This one right here, from another video I have, it, it's select alert, which means it flashes only towards the rear on a certain setting, which was very innovative for Co3 at the time. We have an XL from NYC EMS, and this XL I built with the oscillators in it. Not a very common option in this style light bar, but very cool, and it's a factory mount. I'm really, yeah, I'm really pleased with how this one came out. Next to these giant circular parabolic rotators, they really throw a great light. Aerodynic, aerodynic. This one's just a 24. Only rotators, eight rotators per side. Excellent light bar. Pile of mini light bars. And a 25 that has a stripped worm gear, but that's all right. I'll get it fixed. That's a red and blue one. If, if you see my other videos, it's red and blue candy cane. It does that little zigzag. I think that's fantastic. You have a XL, et cetera, et cetera. A couple XS8000 light bars down here. NYPD Jet Stream. And they did something cool with that. They put two rotators and mirrors in it, as any other one would. But they also had a front forward facing uh, takedown light. That, you know, they put them on scooters. And so they could use it as a multi-function light bar in a small package. I thought they did something really cool. I've never seen on the other agency do that. Viewpoints right here. Also known as a half vector light bar. They're fun. I rewired those. They work very well. In the corner right here, a Tomar Helio, which is the, um, the successor to the 925, same technology, only on, on their own base, on their own platform, and they're not light, they're very heavy. And they were very expensive when they were new, so not as popular, but those were a little bit more popular than the other ones. And a bunch of parts, more parts. Uh, did I mention I have parts? I have, I have some other cool goodies in boxes, like I have a Mars FL8, I have two Responda strobes down here. Uh, you know, I have, I have a really interesting eclectic mix. 
Nothing is really for sale right now, but if you see something you like, you can ask me about it.